Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome into another edition of That's What I Think with Brandon Swanson. I'm your fearless host, Brandon Swanson, and this week I'm talking about what is going on with the Kansas City Chiefs. It's nothing good, I'll tell you that. They're mired in a four-game losing streak. They're six and six. They were six and two after they beat the Broncos. It seemed like everything was trending upwards for the Chiefs. Now all it's doing is trending downwards. It's bad, it's really bad. So let's go through. Let's go through what's going on here with Kansas City. They started off their first two games. They beat the New England Patriots and stunned the world. Had everyone then wondering, are the Patriots bad? Should we just throw them away? Yeah, because that was really smart idiots. Week two, you beat the Eagles. The Philadelphia Eagles, who now, even after their loss to Seattle, one of, if not the best team in the NFC. I mean, come on. The Chiefs were golden for the first two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, and then their nemesis. Dun, dun, dun. The Pittsburgh Steelers, they can't beat them. Can't beat them. It's just not going to happen. And... In those first five weeks, I'll get to the Steelers game in a minute. In those first five weeks, what do the Chiefs do? They put up points. But what do they also do? Their defense put up, well, I shouldn't say put up points, but allowed points. You wouldn't know it because the Chiefs put up in that five-game winning streak 164 points. Going to win most of those games. And they did. They won them all. But in the game against the Steelers, Antonio Brown had, five, had eight catches for 155 yards. And then we thought, oh, okay. Steelers, you know, they're, they're a tough one. They're a tough one. You know, we played them pretty tough, but we'll bounce back. Then came the Oakland Raiders. No bounce back. 31 to 30, the final score. Chiefs defense gave up 210 yards to Amari Cooper in his best statistical day all season long. Amari Cooper fantasy owners were wishing maybe he had done that throughout the season instead of in one game. But again, the Chiefs, defense, secondary, where are you at? Where are you at, what are you doing? It's bad, it's, it's really bad. The, the offense came to play, the defense did not, and the defense really hurt with the amount of penalties that they drew. On one play, I think there were four or five penalties. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. So one of the things I want to say is my colleagues here on the onside kick talked about should Alex Smith be benched in favor of Patrick Mahomes? I think the simple answer is no. Why? Why should Alex Smith be benched in favor of Patrick Mahomes at this point? They're six and six. Not great. They're still leading their division. If you look at it, Alex Smith has not been the problem. The problem. He's been an issue in Sun Games, but he's also won you others. He played like Tom Brady in the New England game when Tom Brady couldn't play like Tom Brady. So Alex Smith is, he's not the chief problem. And that was honestly a pun. I, I, I did not even mean to do that. I, I did not mean to do that. But he's, he's really not. What have the Chiefs not been able to do in their losing streak? Run the football. Kareem Hunt has virtually gone away, especially in the last two games. So you look at the game against Pittsburgh, 21 rush yards, 110 total yards. Oakland, 87 rush yards, 117 total yards. And now let's get down into when he really sucked. 37 rush yards against Dallas, 61 total yards. The Giants, 73 rush yards, 77 total yards. Buffalo, 17 rush yards, 26 total yards. And then the Jets, 40 rush yards and 63 total yards. Kareem Hunt, no TD since week three. Five touchdowns, five, six touchdowns, all in the first three weeks. Has not seen the end zone since then. It's a problem. It's been something that's really been hurting the Chiefs. That's why they were so good in those first couple of weeks because the rookie was just breaking out. 
He was going insane. Alex Smith was being able to stretch the field. Because why? They had to worry about the running back. They had to worry about the, the quarterback. They had to worry about everybody. Defenses did. Now, all you have to worry about and key in on is Alex Smith. That's what teams have been able to do. And quite honestly, it's hurt the Chiefs. They've really been struggling. Let's take a look at the defense, though. The defense has two touchdowns on the season. The thing that the Chiefs defense in the past has prided themselves on is making big plays and turning them into touchdowns. The Chiefs defense last year had five defensive touchdowns. Pretty good. It was pretty good. They had 28 sacks. They had 15 fumble recoveries. And they had 18 interceptions. The Chiefs made the big plays last year on defense. Now all they do is give them up every single week. They can't stop anybody. And when they do, in comes the penalty flag. And then they're losing their cool. Perfect example, Marcus Peters this past weekend. Marcus, you've already got a penalty flag. You don't then pick it up and throw it into the stands. That just doesn't seem smart. <laughs> so bad that he thought he was ejected. He literally didn't get ejected from the game, but thought because he did that, he was ejected. Started to go in. I think he was about to take a shower. Thank God someone went and got him. Didn't help. Still lost. But that's bad. The Chiefs are losing it. They're losing their cool. And because of that, the Chargers and the Raiders are literally on the doorstep. They're standing on the welcome mat knocking on the door, ready to take over in the AFC West. This year, in 2017, so far, the Chiefs have 21 sacks, only nine interceptions, and five fumble recoveries. Again, they're not making the big plays defensively. It's just not happening. And why is that? Well, here's your answer. The loss of Eric Berry has certainly hurt. People said, okay, after week one, he got hurt against the Patriots. All right, they'll... They'll fill his role. He'll be, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. Well, they really feel it. They certainly felt it against Pittsburgh. They definitely felt it against Oakland. Not having him out there, not having his presence, his leadership for this defense, it's hurt. It really has, and guys have not stepped up. Justin Houston, he's looked strong, minus missing this past week against the, the Jets, but he's been one of the only ones who has. Tom Bahali has barely played this season. That's been a huge loss. And then you look at the guys in the secondary. Marcus Peters has not been the same. Philip Gaines, Terrence Mitchell, they have not been that good. Let's be honest about it. They have let up big play after big play after big play. And then they have been penalized multiple times after getting what looked to be big stops. The Oakland Raider game, I think, is a perfect example. The New York Jet game this past weekend is another perfect example and much more recent. That's what's hurting Kansas City. It's not one position. It's not one player. It's not one side of the football. The Kansas City Chiefs are hurting the Kansas City Chiefs. Right now, they can't get out of their own way. And that's dangerous. That's dangerous. When you're your worst enemy, that's bad. And way too many big plays have been given up. I think, again, if you want to talk about it on the defensive side, you look at that Oakland game again, 210 yards for Cooper, 107 for Cook, 155 going back to uh, Antonio Brown. Too many guys are having big, big days against the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm happy with Alex Smith as the quarterback right now. Do I know that Alex Smith is not going to be the quarterback of the future? Absolutely. He's not going to be. I'm excited for Patrick Mahomes. I think he's going to be really good when he gets into the NFL and really starts playing. I do. And I think he'll be able to lead the Chiefs. Does Alex Smith know he's not going to be the future of this franchise? Yeah, he does. But he's still trying to play hard. He has done a good job. He has not turned the football over that much. That is another reason why the Chiefs did so well in their first five games. They weren't turning the football over. Now they've started to turn the football over. They haven't been able to run the ball. Defensively, they've been flagged all the time. Defensively, they've been giving up big plays. So anyone who says that Alex Smith is the problem, the problem, 
you're wrong. Anyone who says that the Chiefs in general are the problem, every single spot, you're right. You would be right then. Travis Kelsey is doing his thing. Tyreek Hill's trying to do his thing. They don't have wonderful games every week, but they're still trying to come and show up and make plays, and they're doing it. And they did it. Offensively, the Chiefs this past week, they did it. They had enough points to win that game. 31 points. You should win the game with 31 points. But the defense gave up 38 to Josh McFrickin' Cown and the Jets. You should be put in timeout for a long time for that one. The Jets aren't bad, but they're not 38 points good. Come on. Despicable. Embarrassing. Six and six? That's not what the Chiefs should be. That's not what the Chiefs should be. They should be right up there with two losses, like the Steelers, like the Patriots. That's where they should be. But the reality is, they are not. So what do they have to do? They need to win their next four games. They've got the Raiders, the Chargers, the Dolphins, and somebody else who I can't think of, the Broncos. A while back, I would have said four easy wins. Four easy wins. Now it's, you should beat the Broncos, should. The Dolphins, you should. And the Raiders and the Chargers are a toss up now. I'd like to think they'll win. But right now, they've got concerns. They've definitely got concerns. It's time to bring back that Kansas City Chiefs heart and soul. They've got to get it back. They've got to play with a purpose. If they can do that, they'll storm through these four games and win them all. Go 10-6 and six and win the division. But if they can't, Kansas City Chiefs are going to be on the outside. They're going to be looking in. And that's what I think this week. Thanks so much, everybody, for watching. Really hoping that those Kansas City Chiefs can turn it around and get things going in these next four games. They only have four weeks to do so. Again, thanks for watching. Make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's anything that you would like me to talk about in upcoming weeks. Always love hearing from the fans. We'll be back here again next week, Wednesday, 2 Central, 3 Eastern, and 12 Pacific. Have a great rest of your week. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. So long.